In this video, we will continue our discussion about the steps of a risk assessment. In this part of the tutorial, we will begin the second half of the NIST model, or nine steps for performing a risk assessment. In the first half of the model, or steps, it is mostly analysis work, or identifying the pieces and parts that make up the system, and the information that is needed to perform the actual determination of the risk and the steps that will be taken to mitigate that risk. In this part of the tutorial, we will begin by looking at making the likelihood determinations. Based on the information we have gathered so far, we will begin to look at the likelihood of the risk actually occurring. Likelihood is defined as the probability that a vulnerability will be exercised by a threat. In other words, how likely is it? What is the probability of a particular vulnerability actually being exercised or exploited by a particular threat? Factors that enter into this are, what are the motivations and capabilities of the threat? There might be a vulnerability in existence in the system, but the threat is very minimal because no one really cares about it or there is really no motivation to exploit that particular vulnerability. What are the natures of the vulnerability? It could be something like an unlocked door. How likely is it that that particular vulnerability will be exercised? Are there effective controls already in place, or planned to be in place? That might already be mitigating that particular risk. And the history, looking at whether these threats and vulnerabilities have been exploited in the past. The way you would go about ranking these likelihoods, then, would be with a simple Likert scale of high, medium, and low. In the high case, this would be a threat that is highly motivated and sufficiently capable of exploiting a particular vulnerability and making use of that. This would be a threat that has the means and capabilities to take advantage of a vulnerability and has sufficient motivation to perform that. And it should be remembered, the vulnerability has to exist or the threat to take advantage of it. A medium likelihood is a threat that is motivated and capable of taking advantage of a vulnerability, but there might be controls in place to impede the success of the exploit of a particular vulnerability. And finally, the low vulnerability might be available, but the threat lacks sufficient motivation or capabilities to exploit the threat or there are controls in place that significantly impede the threat from exploiting the vulnerability. Now these are general rankings. In some cases, you might want to increase the options on the scale. Instead of just three options, you might want to increase the choices available to rank the likelihood. This scale can be adjusted to meet the needs of your particular project. The advantage here is these don't have to be perfect. Take your best guess on how the ranks should be assigned. Talk to the system owners or system administrators. Talk to people who might be familiar with the threats and vulnerabilities. Get their input on how likely something is. Do web searches to see what kind of information you can find. Talk to campus or department resources that might be able to help you make a determination. In this video, we have looked at making determinations about the actual likelihood of a risk manifesting itself. If you would like more help with building a security system, please contact CTSC. You can get contact and other information on the CTSC website, trustedci.org. CTSC Online is made possible by funding from NSF, grant number OCI 1234408.